Joe Jonas, welcome to Real Radio. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. It's good to be back. To the UK. I love the UK. Well, you brought some weather with you this morning. Yes, and a couple of fans. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's so busy out there. It was bizarre. I mean, we were just in Scotland this morning and there was fans outside and coming to see the fans here again. It's really nice to see familiar faces and new ones. Little sisters, big sisters. Mm-hmm. Mm, <laughs> they cool. love you. They love you. It was crazy. I um I posted on my Twitter that I was going to have a chat with you. Ah. And I've suddenly now got hundreds more followers, <laughs> if not more thousands. So you've made me very popular. Well, I'll have to follow you on Twitter then. Yeah. Well, you never forget my name. My name's Joe as well, but just knock off the e. All it's right. Easy, okay. It's a Done. very popular, lovely name. I think, don't you? I like our names. Yeah, I do too. Uh, so, what do you like about the UK? What do I like about the UK? Mm-hmm. Wow. Um. I just love anything, really. I mean, the architecture, the food, the drinks, going out. Everything's a lot more late here, which I find is fun. And I think it's just totally different from mm-hmm. the from the U.S. I mean, a lot of uh, a lot of the U.S. is starting to get indoors more out here. It's just everything's outside, and it's been beautiful weather since we've been here. And um, have you had a cup of tea? Um, I have not had a cup of tea yet. <gasps> Should we make this happen? Should we, should we make this happen now? The kettle <laughs> needs to be on. I think I think it's only appropriate. I mean, I just had coffee, but I'm I can I can rock I, some tea too. I think you should try some tea. I think it's only appropriate. Just not not like sort of iced tea like you would have at home. Traditional. I mean, proper British cup of tea, and even we'd even give you a, a china cup. Oh wow! And add milk. Oh, wh- I know. I'm oh my sure. God. It will be I'm hot tea. It will be hot tea. You guys are giving the full treatment. <laughs> yeah. You're not holding anything back. There may be cake. There may be cake. You never know. Oh, wow. Um, You're just like not even 22 yet. Is it? You're 22 this year, aren't you? 22 in less than a month. And you are an uh, excellent dancer, excellent Thank singer. You. Thank you. Amazing actor. You're just, Future tea drinker. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> connoisseur of uh, British tea and cake. <laughs> yes. Um, and you've worked with some huge names, uh, not only your brothers, but Miley Cyrus, Selena Gomez, and um, it, it's just been crazy for you from a young age. Yeah. Um, what is next for you? What is next? Well, currently this this solo album, and then after that, I want to do some acting, I think, again, um, and maybe do some more, you know, motion picture films and um, just continue this. You know, I, I love... I love cooking, so maybe open a restaurant down the line. But as of right now, I'm just, just working on this album, getting people excited about it, kind of presenting to people. I've been working on it for about six months to a year, mm-hmm. trying to perfect it in my own mind, and now I get to present it to people. Let's talk about the single. Uh, it's due out on the 8th of August, I believe, here. Okay. Uh, everyone's very excited about the video, and not only that, the single itself, See No More, which is a little help from Chris Brown. Yeah. A bit of R&B in there. Yeah, it was interesting. Me and Chris, we... We tried to work together in the past and just scheduling differences and finally got a, both had two days. Went into the studio and he played me a thousand songs he was working on. I played him 30 songs I recorded and we could kind of tell that we both were on the same plane about writing. So we were like, okay, let's get in the studio tomorrow and try to write a song and wrote See No More in like two hours. And I wasn't even looking for a song for my project because I was just like, you know, I just love to write to write songs. Not really thinking, okay, it's, it's specifically for this or for that and... It really came together quickly. Quickly. So, what can we expect from the album? Well, I think it's uh, it's an upbeat record. It's a dance record. A lot of my favorite influences are from anywhere from Latin to hip hop to rock music. So, I tried to bring them all together to create a, a a different sound for fans to listen to, and also to catch new ears. It's a little bit more mature lyrically, and um, and overall, just a good fun record. Mm-hmm. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. And the, the, the title is Fast Life. Is that right? Yeah, the title of the album is Fast Life. Fast Life is a song on the album, but also it's just kind of my life these days is running around, going to different cities, <laughs> yeah. countries in the same day. And I'm going to be in three cities. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I've been in like four or five already today. So it's uh, it's quite the fast life. Mm. You have to sort of check yourself. Like, where am I now? Oh, yeah. Where is this Oh, place? definitely. I mean, even in the car ride over here, I was like, how do you spell Manchester again? Like, where are we? <laughs> How's it going? I mean, I, I, you know, but I appreciate every city, obviously, but it's definitely, you're moving around quite a mm-hmm. bit. Planning a tour at all over yeah. here? Yeah, actually, um, right now, this week is really crucial because we're trying to decide if I'm going to be going on tour, supporting somebody, or I'm going to go by myself. And, um, you know, my preference is whatever the fans want. I mean, I would love to be able to 
go on like say a club tour and and just almost have a party all summer i mean just go on stage and, and play to the late late nights and then go, come over here and do the same Mm. Well, you obviously a close family. What do the rest of the family think about all of all of this? And you're out on your own now, and this amazing record that you've worked so hard on. Obviously, loads of support from them. Yeah, definitely. My brothers have been so supportive through the whole project, and um, they're fans of the music too. And it's cool to see that they really are able to. They're enjoying this time for themselves too, because they've been busy. My younger brother's been recording and writing. My older brother's been spending time with his wife, and a couple of cool things he's starting to projects he's starting to work on. But for me, it just uh, to have my family support is great, you know. Even though they're not here, I'd love for them to be able to experience some of the cool things we've done so far on this trip. It's overall, it's been a lot of fun. Great. And you talked about a movie. What would be your ideal movie role? Ideal movie role. I mean, I love I love action films. I mean, I love superhero movies. Um, there's been a couple opportunities to, but scheduling has been difficult. I would love to maybe just do something a little bit different. I mean, maybe play the killer in the movie or something like that. Yeah. Something people wouldn't expect. That's exactly it, isn't it? It's just completely role reversal from everything that you've done before and then just come out and surprise everybody with this amazing, meaty role. They'd be like, wow, didn't know he could do that. And yeah, like, this, yeah. Is a, this is the kind of thing, thing you want to like, su- always keep people surprised. Absolutely. Well, I've had loads of um, tweets. Oh, yeah. And, and I only started sort of mention it yesterday and uh, it's been crazy crazy um obviously everybody wants to know about a tour yeah everybody wanting to know when there's going to be a tour and some very bizarre questions as well just uh love just it fire a few at you all right uh one says uh, are you excited to be celebrity guest on the special olympics in greece on the 4th of july very excited it's going to be awesome I- i've done a lot of stuff for special olympics around the world i'm a big supporter and um, over the past few years, they've just been just recently asked me to be like their celebrity ambassador for the Special Olympics. So, almost everywhere I travel, I try to do something with the Special Olympics and the athletes, whether have them out to concerts or or whatnot. And now we're going to Greece to perform, but also um, I'm going to try to figure out scheduling if I'm going to be able to run in one of the just the the uh, the runs to kind of get 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 support and kind of put more of a name out there for Special Olympics. It's pretty awesome, that isn't it? Um, how many songs will there be on the new album? How many songs? There'll be about 11 or 12 songs. And then, of course, there'll be bonus songs for all the other stuff around the world that who needs it. Um, so I've been I've been recording quite a bit, but now I'm finally to the point where I feel like I've got my 12 or 13 that I'm proud of. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. And another one, so this is an interesting one. What keeps you so positive inside and out when you've got such a busy life? Keeps me so positive? Probably the fans and just doing what I love you know it's hard to it's hard to say no to a lot of stuff when you're so happy doing this I'm able to just travel the world and play music and I know there's so many artists out there that wish they could have could be able to have this opportunity so there's not much complaining going from me or early mornings you know you you take naps when you can (laughs) you know when you're so busy and you're out on the road and everything do you sort of do you have your iPod on or are you an iPad guy are you oh yeah my my whole bag is so heavy because I have so many electronics in my bag um and every time we go through security, I have to pull out like my computer, my iPad, my iPods. Like, um, but I, I, yeah, I'm a gadget freak for sure. Me too. Um, favorite app then? Mine's Angry Birds. Have you tried oh, it? I've won that game already. I love Angry Birds. I do too. It's so good. Um, I think I think some apps are just like genius. Like, um, there's the Shazam app. Have you heard about yeah, this one? Yeah, love that. So if, say if there's, for those of you who are listening don't know what it is, it's if we're in a room or a restaurant and a song plays and I, I can't remember the name of the artist, I literally hit the button and it, the, my iPhone will listen to the song and tell you how to buy it, where the artist is from, like everything about them. It's insane. It is quite genius, isn't it? There, yeah. There is literally an app for everything. But Angry Birds, <laughs> I'm on every level now. I've I've done Angry Birds Normal, Angry Birds Seasons. Rio. Rio is just <laughs> awesome with them little monkeys. It's and, addictive. Oh, it's, it's so good. It's, I, I find myself not doing anything but playing on Angry Birds. I'm like, <laughs> put the thing down. Honestly, it's crazy. Uh, so loads more tweets come in. Um, can you describe your album in one word? If so, what would it be? In one word, yeah. Energy, I guess, would make the most sense because it's fun and it's 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 a little bit different than the normal, and it's just exciting overall for me. And what's the inspiration um, for the idea of the the video for the new single "See No More"? The idea I had for the video was using a house as a metaphor because um, 
the whole part of the whole point of the song is that it's about somebody that you're in a relationship with that you can't really get over. Everything reminds you of that person, whether if it's an old photograph or some the way somebody smells. You're like, oh, right away. You're like rem- you're reminded of the times you had together. So I wanted to be able to almost make a house as if it was your your mind and how you're not, you can't escape. And I, it took a while to find a, the right director for the idea because when I wrote it down, it was just kind of a bizarre thinking process. And then finally, this director came about and. I just saw the final cut for the for the, of the video about four or five days ago, and I'm so happy with it. And the teaser now is on online, so the video will be out very soon. Very excited. It's it's great. You must be a director's dream, though. It's so easy to work with. <laughs> they must they would love you on camera. Oh wow! Um, Thank I, you. And I have to talk about your eyebrows because your eyebrows are very famous. Oh man. Um, is there <laughs> is there a whole grooming thing going behind? <laughs> I mean, you get up in the morning and it's like, right, the eyebrows need attention before the Got hair. Got my own little brush that I flick <laughs> open. No, um, I, I, you know, it's funny. I was talking to some, this is bizarre. This is like the third time I told somebody about this, but not in interviews, just in my, I was telling my friend, um, I went to a, to get my eyebrows waxed a, a long time ago. My mom took me and it was the worst idea that I ever, ever had because the person that did my eyebrows made them so tiny <laughs> and they made them pretty in their mind. And I remember my mom saying something about scissors, which I later found out she said, don't let them use the scissors, whatever that meant. And uh, she was using scissors on my eyebrows. So when I got up, my eye, first of all, my face was so red from the, from the waxing. And then my eyebrows looked way too pretty for a guy. That was the first and last time I'll, you will ever see me go get my eyebrows waxed again. <laughs> leave but, them uh, alone. I, yeah, I kind of leave them alone these days and just rough it out. Do you realize that they're very famous? I, I, do, I don't, but this is, this is great. <laughs> there's, there's, there's like a whole area dedicated to beautiful men with beautiful eyebrows. And you're, wow. like, you're like at number one. Well, really? I yeah. love it. You're there with I Robert guess it's Patterson. me, Liam Gallagher and... Robert Pattinson. <laughs> The whole eyebrow thing going that on. That is amazing. <laughs> I'm happy to be in part of that, I'm I'm part of that UK crew. <laughs> fabulous eyebrows. Thank um, you. Now, you've, you're obviously in the UK. Did you catch any of Glastonbury at all? You know, I was trying to go. And it was funny because the Saturday I was, in, I was actually in London, there were so many concerts going on. My buddies McFly were having a show not too far away. Uh, my, my friends Kings of Leon were playing in Hyde Park and then Glastonbury. So I was struggling what weather, what, what not to either go to which show or whatever and I ended up just trying to keep it easy and, and chill for a day because I wasn't sure if it was going to be a, how long of a drive traffic or not whatnot. Mm. so just went to dinner with some friends did you catch any of it on the, uh, on yeah, the TV? yeah I did yeah I saw uh, Paul Simon and then um, a bit of Beyonce's performance was oh, amazing amazing yeah she's fantastic it's just incredible, incredible performance well we hope to see you on there soon I as would well. love that that would be Honestly, amazing hey, wouldn't it put my name in now um, listen, thank you for coming in. If you do ever get any chance to sort of unwind and watch a bit of TV, um, what sort of what sort of are you into? I mean, what's the one program that um, would sort of you know that you could watch over and over again? For me, it's Friends or Family oh, Guy. Fr- it's funny you said that. Friends was on the other day, and I, it's it's also an addictive show. I love Family Guy. Um, I love Summer Heights High and um, The Office. The Office in the UK and The Office in, in the States. Anytime that's on, it's 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 just. I'm drawn into it, uh, but I love a lot of TV. What I, Dumb and Dumber was on yesterday. You had to that, watch it. Oh, of course, I was stuck. <laughs> it's the rule. You have to watch it. If it's on TV, you have to sit down, stop what you're doing, and watch the whole film. Absolutely, it's brilliant. Listen, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Appreciate this. And um, good luck with the album. And um, the single is going to be amazing. Thank and you very I much. Do thank hope, you for playing it. I do hope that you tour and we can come along and watch. It'd be great. Yeah. Well. You should just introduce me then. Come on stage, hang out. I'd love that. And we are new Twitter friends. That's we it. Are. We are following each other. Done. It's a done deal. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Take care, Joe Jonas. You too. Bye.